now our next practical is interfacing serial port with pc both side communication this is the problem statement given by the university and uh, here they want they want to connect the two devices together with the serial communication okay one of the device is the pc and second device is the our microcontroller that is the pic 18f4520 means one device is pc and second device is a 18f4520 and these two devices are connected together with the help of serial communication and we want to transfer data from one device to other okay uh, now to support the serial communication there are various models are available in 18f4520 one of the model is a uart module uh, second one is a, there is a i square c module spi module in this fashion scan module is also there which are supporting serial communication we know that we are going for serial communication because with the help of less wire we can we can transfer data from one device to other whereas other method in parallel communication number of wires are there that's why cost is there more as well as maintenance is also more and to avoid that we are going for serial communication and these are the various models which are supporting serial communication such as the uart module spi module i square c module and can module etc out of that we are taking help of uart module UART module is nothing but universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. Uh, there is other module is also there. It is called as a universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter. We can choose one of the option, either synchronous option or asynchronous option. Okay. Uh, then next one is we are using UART that is universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. Here these two devices. One, one is a PC and second one is our controller that is PIC 18F4520 which is connected with the help of UART module. There are, num uh, in a, uh, there are basically three wires we are using for interfacing purpose. Well, one of the wire is a transmitter pin, second one is a receiver pin and the next one is a ground. In this fashion with the help of three wire we are transferring data from one device to other means with the help of few wires. We are transferring data from one device to other. Okay, here transmitter pin of one device is connected to receiver of other, whereas the transmitter of second is connected to receive of first. In this fashion, they are intercross uh, connected uh, to transfer data from one device to other. Okay, then next one is uh, to support this UART module, there are various registers are available in architecture of 18F4520. Now, these registers are serial port baud rate generator. Next one is uh, uh, transfer buffer register, receive buffer register, transmit status and control register, receive status and control register, peripheral in, uh, interrupt register 1. In this fashion, these registers are there which is supporting UART module. One by one, we will discuss each register separately. Okay. Now, first one is <coughs> actually we are transferring data in serial communication with the help of baud rate. Now, what do you mean by baud rate? The rate at which number of bits are transmitted from personal computer to microcontroller or vice versa is uh, stated as BPS that is bit per second. Other terminology for BPS is baud rate. Means baud rate is number of bits per second. Okay. Now we are transferring data from one device to other. Means from PC to microcontroller, and uh, we are with the help of various baud rates. Various options are available there, which such as one nine two zero zero six nine six zero zero four eight zero zero two four zero zero. 1200 etc. We can choose any baud rate as per our choice. Once the baud rate is set, the data is transferred with this respective baud rate. Now, uh, whatever baud rate we want, for that you must set the specific number into the baud rate generator register. Okay, and for that we are taking help of baud rate formula. Now, baud rate formula is desired baud rate is equal to F oscillator. This is nothing but your main oscillator upon 64 into x plus 1. 
now this is the formula with the help of this we are calculating the value of x and this value of x we are putting into the uh, baud rate generator register okay now we are taking one example uh, how to calculate that baud rate uh, for a device with a for example we are saying crystal frequency we are considering 10 megahertz and desired baud rate is 9600 you can choose any one as per your choice now i am just selecting 9600 a synchronous mode now based on this statement i i want to calculate the x value i am just taking that formula that is desired baud rate is equal to f oscillator upon 64 into x plus 1 now desired baud rate is 9600 f oscillator is 10 megahertz upon 64 into x plus 1 here all things are known only x is unknown we are taking it out okay then formula become x is equal to uh, this 9600 upon this 10 megahertz it's coming 156250 upon desired baud rate minus 1 okay now according to this we are just calculating value of x and that x value you are putting into the register spbrg okay next one is next register is transmit status and control register now before that i want to discuss next two registers already i discussed this uh, serial port baud rate generator i have just calculated value of x and i am placing that value into this register that is spbrg that is serial port baud rate generator then next regarding transfer buffer register here that is tx register now we are saying that we want to transfer data from one device to second device okay now for example first device is pc and second device our uh, is our controller that is a pic 18f4520 now i want to send the data from pc to other side okay whatever data i want to transmit i must place somewhere and that register is called as a transfer buffer register okay that is transfer buffer register whatever 8 bit data i want to transmit i first place into this respective register that is called as a transfer buffer register okay once i place that desired data into transfer buffer uh, transfer buffer register then one as per the baud rate one by one bit will out actually data is 8 bit data all 8 bit will not out because our there is only one wire where only one transmit pin is there and with the help of one pin only one bit will out at a time and that's why all 8 bits first place into the transmit buffer register then after that as per the desired baud rate it one by one bit will out from this transmit pin and it is reach up to the receiver pin of other side means it is uh, reach up to the receiver pin of 18f4520 okay once it is received by the pic microcontroller it all 8 bits are not coming at a time one by one bits are coming okay means one by one bits are coming that time one by one bits are taken inside and when all 8 bits are available okay it is hold somewhere and that register is called as a receive buffer register means function of receive buffer register is to accept one by one all bits and when all bits are arrived means all 8 bits are arrived then it will give interrupt to the controller okay that all uh, new data is arrived please read that in this fashion actual serial communication is done with uh, through this two registers means whatever data you want to transmit first place into the transmit buffer register or transfer buffer register then one by one bit will out through the tx pin it is coming on a rx pin when by all, when all bits are coming okay and when all bits are entered all 8 bits are enter and receive buffer uh, receive buffer register is full that time it will interrupt the controller that new data is fully arrived please read that okay now next one is when you are saying that first data you are placing into tx pin okay now you are transmitting through the tx pin a uh, transmit pin okay when one by one bits are out suppose 
all 8 bits are out from this bu uh, transfer buffer register means it uh, it's become empty then only place the new data which you want to transmit means you are initially you are sending one data which having 8 bits you are placing here tx register pin yes tx pin it is coming one by one bit is out okay out of 8 bits suppose 5 bits are out and 3 bits are av already available here and you are just placing the new data there that time new data will corrupt the previous data to avoid that we must check that this is fully empty or not once this is fully empty then only place the new data suppose already few data is available for example i am placing first data is a a and few character of a is already available in some are, are present in tx register and in between i place the new data of b then what happens b will overwrite on a and it will a is not properly passed to the next device okay and we don't want that corruption and that's why when all 8 bits initially all 8 bits we are placing into tx register one by one bit will out as per the baud rate when all 8 bits are out and this become empty that time only control first pc will send the next data will place the next data into this register okay uh, similar way when all data is out it will interrupt the controller or it will interrupt the pc that is through peripheral interrupt register okay similar way when all bits are entered through a, a receive register okay out of 8 bits uh, uh, suppose 5 bits are entered and 3 are not till received in that case suppose you read that data then you read the incorrect data okay means you must read the data only when when all 8 bits are available in available in register or uh, receive buffer register then only read the data okay and uh, when all 8 bits are arrived it will interrupting the controller by giving uh, by setting the interrupt flag okay then next is next register is transmit status and control register now as per the meaning of this register this is a uh, txsta this is the short form in the program we are using this short form that is txsta is nothing but transmit status and control register as per the name of this register it is showing the status of transmission process as well as it is controlling the transmission process in this fashion this register performing both action it is showing the status of transmission process as well as it is controlling the transmission process <coughs> now we will see that register transmit status and control register which is showing which having status bits as well as controlling bits okay now this is a 8 bit register that is bit number 0 to bit number 7 now meaning of each bit we will discuss here now bit number 7 bit number 7 function is clock source selection bit okay in asynchronous mode there is no need of clock source means don't care this bit is not considered okay and for synchronous mode we are just setting it 1 or 0 as per clock source either it is from master or it is from source okay according to that but in our practical we are performing a synchronous mode and that's why we are not considering bit number 7 next is bit number 6 in bit number 6 it is declaring actually data is either there are two options of data size either data is 8 bit data or 9 bit data suppose you are interested to send the data of 9 bit that that time enable this bit means one is for enabling the 9th bit and 0 means you are disabling 9th bit means data is only 8 bit data in this fashion data size having two options either 8 bit data or 9 bit data one means 9 bit data and 0 means 8 bit data next one is bit number 5 okay bit number 5 is a tx enable that is transmit enable bit here one means enable transmission process and 0 means disable transmission process okay means with the help of this bit we are controlling enabling and disabling the transmission process means in our practical you must set this bit as a one 
means to enable the transmission process. Then bit number 4 that is EUART mode selection bit. EUART is nothing but enhanced UART, uh, UART module. Okay, here uh, it is just showing uh, which mode you are interested. One means you are interested in synchronized, synchronized mode and zero means asynchronous mode. Synchronous mode means you are uh, as per the clock signal both the device, one device is sending the data, other de uh, device is receiving that data. In asynchronous mode, uh, whatever data you want to transmit, first convert into the package. Means suppose your 8-bit data is there or 9-bit data is there, you must convert that data into the package by adding start bit and stop bit. Okay, and by adding start bit and stop bit, you are converting data into the package or frame. Okay, and then you are sending from one device to other. Okay, then next one is a send break character bit. Okay, one means send a synchronous break on next transmission and zero means send break transmission completely. Then next regarding baud rate selection bit bit number 2 now in asynchronous mode there are two options are there that is one means high speed and zero means low speed now what do you mean by this low speed and high speed actually once you set the baud rate as per your choice for example in our example we are considering baud rate is 9600 once you set that baud rate all bits will transfer with the same baud rate that is 9600 that time we are placing this particular bit as a 0 and suppose you are making this bit as a 1 means high speed means whatever baud rate you set it get double means suppose you are setting the baud rate is 9600 it get double and bits will transfer with the double baud rate next one is bit number 1 uh, it is a sure it is a status that is transmit uh, transmit uh, transmit shift register status bit when this particular bit is 1 means you are uh, transmit shift register is empty and now uh, suppose it is zero means uh, transmit shift register is full in this fashion you can just check the status of transmit shift register that is transfer shift register whatever data you place it is fully out or not that is considered by uh, it is verified with the help of this particular bit one means it is empty and zero means it is full Okay, and bit number 0 that is 9th bit, 9th ninth, uh, ninth bit of, suppose your data is a 9th bit data, actually data transmit buffer register having only 8 bit register, we can place only 8 bit there, then where to place the 9th bit, 9th ninth uh, ninth bit you can place at this particular location that is bit number 0, in this fashion you can transmit maximum 9 bit data, okay. Now next register is receive status and control register. Now this is also 8 bit register. Okay. Uh, now receive status and control register means it having some status bits as well as some controlling bit also. Means it is combination of both. It is showing the status of uh, receiving uh, receive, uh, uh, reception process as well as it is controlling the reception process. And in this fashion, it having both the bits and that's why it is called as a receive status and control register. Now, this is a 8-bit register. Here, I will give explanation of each bit. Now, bit number 7, that is SPEN, that is serial port enable bit. When this particular bit is 1, that time you are interested for serial port enabling you are interested for serial communication and suppose this bit is 0 you are disabling the serial port means you are not interested in serial communication there are two way either serial communication or parallel communication suppose you are interested in serial communication this bit must be 1 means in our practical this bit must be 1 then only you can perform practical on a serial communication next bit bit number 6 is 9th bit receive enable bit you are interested in 9 bit data or not suppose it is 1 you are uh, selecting 9 bit data suppose it is 0 you are selecting 8 bit data in this fashion you are enabling 9 bit or uh, 9th bit or not okay next one is your bit number 5 
bit number 5 is single receive enable bit in asynchronous mode we are not taking care okay and in synchronous mode there are both options are there but we are performing asynchronous mode and that's why we are not considering this particular bit next one is bit number 4 bit number 4 is continuous receive enable bit okay and uh, this is represent as c r e n in asynchronous mode there are two options are there one means you are enabling receiver or uh, zero means disable uh, disable receiver means continuous reception you are interested or not or you are interested for single reception in single byte you are only receive or you want to receive multiple bytes as per your choice either you make here one or zero okay next one is address detect enable bit uh, suppose ninth bit you are saying then where is the location of ninth bit you can det uh, you can mention with the help of this particular bit next one is bit number two that is a uh, framing error bit now you are saying that you are using asynchronous mode means directly data you are not sending you are sending you are first placing the data into the transmit buffer register then transmit buffer register convert that data into the package by adding start bit and stop bit okay and then data is converted into the package or converted into the frame during converting data into the package or frame suppose any error generates then this particular bit become one what it indicates there is a framing error is there okay and suppose zero there is no framing error means for, for converting data into the package there is no error similar way overrun error bit means when you are transmitting the package from one device to other suppose in between suppose error generates that time overrun error bit will become 1 and suppose there is no overrun error it's be remain 0 then next bit is bit number 0 that is location for ninth bit receive or suppose you are uh, enabling the ninth bit okay actually one by uh, one data is coming through the rx pin and it is placed into the receive buffer register receive buffer register receive all the bits all the bits of the package it just split the nine uh, it's uh, remove the start bit and stop bit 8 bit data placed into the receive buffer register now where to place the ninth bit ninth bit is placed at this particular location okay in this fashion suppose your data is 9 bit data ninth bit is located at this location now according to this much theory knowledge we will just write the pro uh, programming step for serial communication. Now first configure the EUART that is enhanced UART module. First set the baud rate by putting appropriate value in SP uh, that is serial port baud rate generator register. Okay, when there are different options we know that is a 1200, 2400,4800,9600,192000. In this fashion, number of options are there. Out of that, which option we want, we are just choosing that option. We are just calculating value of x, and that x value we are putting into the SPBRG, that is serial port baud rate generator register. The next task is you, are, you must enable the serial communication means serial SPEN that is serial port enable bit must be 1 okay then only serial communication will possible means you are enabling serial port and this bit is available in which register that is receive status and control register that we already discussed here I just show that status this is your receive status and control register within this this bit must be 1 then only serial communication is possible okay then next bit is means you are uh, trans uh, serial communication is enabled next step is tx enable transmit enable bit must be one means transmission process must be enabled now where this bit is it is in a tx sta that is transmit status and control register bit number five 
this TX enable pin. One means enable and zero means disable. Okay, means your transmission process must be enabled. Means this bit must be one. Means you are doing this in the program. You are making this bit as a bit uh, bit number five as a one. That is TX A and pin is equal to one. Next one is continuous receive enable bit must be one. Means whatever data sent by the PC, your controller must continuously receive that. Receiver processor receive uh, receiving process must be enabled and for that you are uh, you are making c r e and bit as a one now this bit is located in uh, receive status and control register that is here that is bit number four that is continuous receive enable bit this continuous receive one means enable and zero means disable okay means this bit must be one Next, once all this on, uh, set, uh, configuration is over, means you set the baud rate, you are enabling the uh, serial communication, you are enabling the transmission process, you are enabling the reception process. When all this configuration is over, then we start the transmission process. Now, according to that, for transmission, whatever data you want to transmit, first place into the TX register, that is uh, transmit buffer register. Then transmit buffer register, convert that data into the package by adding start bit and stop bit. Okay, and after that, as per the baud rate, the bits are package is out through the TX pin. Okay, when all bits are out and this TX register is empty, then it will set the TX IF flag, which indicate that TX register is now empty and it is ready for the next transmission okay means when tx if flag is one then only you are uh, performing the next action okay May I suppose you are placing some data here and out of that uh, only few bits are out is out of eight only uh, four bits are out and four bit are here only and you are set placing the new data it will corrupt the previous one okay and that's why we are taking care that uh, once you place the data then transmission process is already enabled then one by one bit will out as per the baud rate and when all bits are out then only your TX IF flag become 1 up to that it will remain 0 only when TX IF flag is 0 means your transmission is in a process and TX IF is equal to 1 which indicate that transmission is over and it is ready for next transmission Next is for reception process. In the reception process, we are continuously receiving all the bits through the RX pin and it is placed into the RC register that is receive buffer register. When all bits are available here, means all 8 bits are available here, that time it will set receive interrupt flag. All 8 bits are available and it will interrupt the controller with the help of setting receive interrupt flag. Now this receive intra flag is located into which register? PIR1 that is peripheral intra register 1. Okay, means when you are say, uh, when this particular flag become 1 that indicate that all new data is arrived completely and after that it will interrupting the controller for the reading action. Okay, in this fashion then uh, controller will read the data from receive buffer register and place to the respective location otherwise it is passed to display on the screen now this is the algorithm for the serial communication now based on this knowledge we will just write the code okay our problem statement is for uh, interfacing serial port with pc both side communication this is our problem statement we want to transfer data from our pc to the microcontroller that is pic 18f4520 now for that we are just writing the uh, first steps is we are just including the ic number that is pic 18f4520 header file then we are just configuring various configure register such as oscillator as a high speed pwrt not necessary that's why it is off watchdog timer not necessary we can directly reset the controller 
that's why it is also off debug is off and lvp low voltage power is also off these tips are common for all pic microcontroller practical okay then next we are just writing the various subroutines first subroutine is send uart next subroutine name is that tx data means transmit data next subroutine is rx data means receive data next variable you are declaring as a serial data whose nature is unsigned char and then one text you are writing here within the array as is a uh, serial transmit in this fashion you can write any message as per your demands okay next one by one now we will discuss all these subroutines and then we will write the main program based on this subroutine okay now first subroutine is a receive data in receive data we will first check the condition of rs if flag suppose rs if flag is equal to 0 now this bit is from which register tir1 bits rs if when this bit become 0 you will remain in a while loop what it indicates reception process is in continuation okay when this bit become 1 what it indicates reception is over and data is fully are available into which register rc receive buffer register now return this value to the main program okay whatever data here it is read by the controller and pass to next either it is it will store somewhere or it will pass to display and in our program we are passing this for display purpose next one is the next subroutine is tx data that is transmit data now first whatever data you want to transmit first place into which register tx register that is data 1 that is the first data which i want to transmit i will first place into which register tx register tx register holding the data okay 8 bit data then 8 bit data is converted into the package and then it is one by one it will send through the tx pin as per the baud rate okay and when it is is in process this tx if flag remain zero means if a transmission is in a process okay and when transmission is over all a all package is out that time tx if flag become zero it indicate that tx register is empty all data is out now it is empty and it is ready for next transmission okay means when it is remain zero means it is in process and when it is become one you are coming out of this while loop okay and it complete the transmission data means first uh, data is get transmitted next one is next subroutine is send uart in send uart subroutine whatever message you want to transmit there is number of characters are there for example serial transmission of a uh, pic 18 f4520 whatever message you want to type that having number of characters that is character is uh, 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 declared by this variable i okay now first we are writing while one pic pir1 that is peripheral interrupt register 1 tx if is equal to 0 it uh, means first character is not transmitted when fully first character is out that time you are coming out of that tx register is handling the next text i okay means whatever message you want to type it will take the next i in this fashion one by one all the characters from the message is taken from the message is taken into the tx register and it is passed through the tx pin and every after every character you are just checking it is fully out or not okay in this fashion one by one character of each each uh, uh, one by one each character of the message will out with the help of send uart subroutine next is a main function in the main function initially adc con 1 is equal to 0f we are not interested in uh, adc option and that's why 0f next one is you are setting the baud rate as per your demand for example my demand is baud rate is 4800 then i will place that particular number here that is spbrg okay then next you are enabling the serial communication 
and that's why we are setting SPEN is equal to 1 and this SPEN that is serial port enable is equal to 1 and this bit is located where it is located in RC that is serial status and control register okay and that's why we are writing this problem we are we are writing this statement next one is you want to enable the transmission process means tx enable must be one now this bit is located in tx status and control register next one is to enable continuous reception process and that's why the continuous reception enable is one and this uh, uh, this bit is available in which register register um, receive status and control register this bit is one once you are enabling communication serial communication you are enabling transmission process you are enabling reception process once all this task is over then you want to send the message whatever you want to display on the screen we want to display that is serial transfer of 18f4520 whatever message you are displayed it will display on the screen while one then next what whatever data is received from pc that is rx data is taken into the serial data serial data is one of variable one of the variable whatever data is received through the receive subroutine it is coming into the serial data okay then transmit so through transmit subroutine we are just sending transmitting the data on the screen that is serial data whatever data is received by it uh, controller plus one we are adding within that is every character having some ascii value what we, whatever ascii value is received you are adding within one within that is uh, next character we want to display on the screen in this fashion we will write the code as per the problem statement now whatever code i explained i will just create the hex file with the help of mp lab we are writing the code in mp lab we know the procedure okay within this procedure i am just creating the one folder with the name tc8 this is the name of the folder and within that source file is serial.c and just i just copied that code here now i will save that code and the, uh, build that code now code build successfully and with and it generate the hex file successfully and the path for hex file is in desktop pick practical serial 8 folder within that tc8 distinction default pro, uh, production in this way this is the path of the hex file okay and within this uh, uh, program i just explain all these points i am just giving the text that is serial transmit of uh, for pick 18f4520 it will display on the screen then i am just enabling all these things and sending the whatever data is transmit okay uh, that is that is plus one you are adding plus one there then save it build it it remain in the same folder okay now i will copy that hex file on a protis software on a protis software i just construct this design for serial communication whatever data is coming from the pc to the controller that is pic 18f4520 that is just here that is pic 18f4520 that is received by from pc and that is trans uh, display on the virtual screen okay now whatever hex file you developed just dump within this 18f4520 i will dump that code now path is pick practical serial 8 folder within that this default production production hex okay then say okay then run that program once this uh, once you dump that code into this 18f4520 now we will run that program now just see here the screen the serial transfer for pick 18f4520 
this is the message you displayed after that whatever number i press from the keyboard keyboard of pc i the pc will transmit that data through the uart port that is accepted by this 18f4520 and it will it is just adding one within that and pass to display okay now i am just pressing here a now it will display b suppose i am pressing s it will display t suppose i dis uh, press d that time it display e suppose it, i am pressing f it will display g suppose i press 1 it will display 2 suppose i press 2 it will display 3 suppose i press the, uh, number 6 it will display 7 in this fashion uh, this controller add 1 within the number and it will display on the screen okay i will make the modification now in the program now instead of uh, this message uh, i will just add few thing here serial transfer uh, of pick 18 f for tb okay and i just ma uh, making modification within the code now instead of adding one i will whatever data i receive i want to display okay this means i will remove this part means whatever data i receive through the receive, uh, receive subroutine it is coming to the serial data and that whatever serial data received it is displayed transmitted and display on the screen okay then again save it build it now path remain as it is same okay now dump within the your design now within this design i will dump the path path remains same as it is previous one say ok then run that program now just see here serial uh, message will change serial transmit for pick 18f4520 for TEB ok now after that I will just write the number whatever number I write it will come as it is A just see here A B S D F G H 1 2 8 9 like that in this fashion whatever data is transmitted by the keyboard of PC it is take is transmitted by the PC and it is received by the 18f4520 whatever data received by controller it is passed to display okay suppose you are writing here plus 2 it will add to uh, within the ASCII value of the given character and it will display the next two character okay for example suppose you want to execute that that is also possible means here I will write plus 2 again save that build that okay now I will dump that code again in the ASCII uh, I will stop this first then I will dump the new code path remain as it is okay then play now serial transmit for pick 18 f 4520 for TEB the, this message remain as it is after that whatever character I pressed plus 2 okay next character will display for example I pressed A then it will display C suppose I press S it will display U Suppose I press D, it will display F. Suppose I press 1, it will display 3. Suppose I uh, press 3, it will display 5, means plus 2. In this fashion, whatever character sent by the PC, plus 2 is done in a microcontroller because in our, in our program, we are writing plus 2. And that's why it gets plus 2 and it is displayed on the screen. And this cover your serial communication.